What's up, fellow nerds? <laughs> Is that how I'm gonna start vlogs now? I'm just gonna go swap. <laughs> but what's up, fellow nerds? <laughs> Username is Jinx is not online, and as you can notice from the wall of a posters behind me, which you can't really see besides my twin pilots and pink green one. <laughs> and the only other thing you can notice is that I have pink hair. It's so cool. It, and like, I did, this is not a clip. I actually like bleached my hair and dyed it, which took like eight hours at the salon and it was horrible because my hair apparently didn't want to be bleached. But that's a story for another time. Today, I'm gonna be talking about something different. Now, many of you may not know, but I take part in a small, small part in musical theater. <laughs> We don't all say it like that. We're not all giant douchebags. <laughs> you know, one of the things about live theater is that people screw up. You know, think it happens. A prop is left in a dressing room, like a piece of the costume's missing, people forget lines. It happens. Now, it can sometimes lead to <laughs> funny ad libs and improvisation. <laughs> And I've never been in a big part, really, so I never really had a screw up that a lot of people noticed, well, besides me and my friends. So I thought out of the pure intention of hilarity, I will share with you my top three biggest stage mistakes. Mr. Motorcycle, can you not zoom past my window when I am recording? First mistake. This, the theater company is CYT, Christian Youth Theater, and the show is All Shook Up. I was in a one month long workshop uh, for musical theater where kids do famous songs from famous musicals. The show was all shook up. So as you know, it's kind of a 50 show. So we had like the long poodle skirts, you know, but if mine went past my ankle, so it was kind of long, you know, uh, but it's a poodle skirt, it's really cute. So there's a section in the dance where the girls cross the stage and they jump when they meet in the stage kind of like woo. <laughs> Like woo, <laughs> you know, like how like high school musical, like a woo, <laughs> woo. <laughs> but anyway, I had practiced this jump like a thousand times in rehearsal. I knew where to land. I knew just when to jump. I had practiced it. I was prepared. But the problem was, I hadn't practiced jumping in my poodle skirt until the day of the performance. <laughs> yeah, you can see the problem already. Super long poodle skirt. Me. Not a very graceful person. Me, clumsy person, plus long skirt, plus gymnastics, doesn't equal something nice. <laughs> but, so, it's performance. The section where I have to jump comes up. I go, I run, and I jump, and I go to land, and my foot doesn't come down. <laughs> my foot is stuck in the folds of my gigantic ass poodle skirt. <laughs> and so I fall and cannonball, because I can't get my feet down, so it's like, Boom! And I know I fell. My my stage mates know I fell. The audience knows I fell. But if I don't act like I fell, I didn't fall. <laughs> so I get up and I rush to the next section of the song, trying not to crack up laughing because it was just so comical that I went BAM in the middle of the dance. But it was fine and it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's still really funny to me. Stage mistake number two. The show is Wizard of Oz and the theater company is Center Stage Productions. And I don't know what you're thinking, but there was not some big drama about me moving from CYT to CSP. Like, everyone at CYT didn't even know my first name. Seriously, they didn't even remember my name. They just remember the girl who wears the weird t-shirts. <laughs> So anyway, the, sh the theater group is Center Stage Productions, and the show is Wizard of Oz, which coincidentally is also the show I met my two, some of my two good f friends, Royal and Shasta. Say hi, they're probably watching this video, so hi! <laughs> anyway, so the show is Wizard of Oz. I was a winky jitterbug and a Ozian. <laughs> now the scene structure for Wizard of Oz, for those of you who aren't very well versed in the, um, time plot of Wizard of Oz and the scene changes, it went Ozian, Winkies, Jitterbug, Winkies, Ozian. In between those costume changes and those scenes I was in, I had two lines of dialogue to change out of each of my costumes for to get ready for the next scene. 
you can already see the hilarity that will probably ensue from the fact that I have to get changed in one millisecond. <laughs> so the Winky costume, for those of you who don't know, is a very bulky costume. It has like the Russian tall hats and it has the um, huge gray shawl and these like huge leather boots and long sleeves and sweatpants and gloves and a spear. So you can probably already see, oh, side note, I'm wearing all of this fabric dressed like ready for a Russian winter and it's freaking a thousand degrees on stage with all the lights so I'm already sweating up a storm. So. I get right I change out of my Aussian costume into my Winky costume. I go on stage, do my Winky costume bit, and then I rush backstage to go change into my jitterbug. Now, there's already like a bunch of components to this costume, so I'm just like, I already have to get moving just to get into like the basics for my jitterbug costume. But I ha there's like this area on the backstage where people do quick changes. You know, it's close to the stage, but not too close, you're not in the waist, so you can change really quickly. The thing about Wizard of Oz is there were a lot of dudes. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of guys. <laughs> there was a lot of guys <laughs> in this show. And me, being 14 at the time, wasn't exactly comfortable with stripping <laughs> down to my unitard and tights in front of these force pre-told dudes. So I had moved all of my quick changes into the hallway in front of my dressing room, which you guys can't get into because you know, there's like a stage mom at the front of the hallway that kind of keeps everyone out. <laughs> so, I'm like rushing to my where I put my quick change stuff, like taking off my hat and my gloves and my big leather boots as I'm running. So it was like this big gray <laughs> blur of Lindsay just rushing down the hallway to get to where I was changing. Plus running upstairs because I was in the upstairs dressing room in this play. And I just hear Heidi just yells at me as I'm running, DON'T RUN IN THE BACKSTAGE! <laughs> And I'm like running, as I'm running, I'm screaming back at her, I move my quick change stuff upstairs, and she's like, move it closer next time, and it's like, I don't have time to be having this screaming conversation as I'm getting quick changed. So anyway, Raquel is upstairs, helps me quick change in my Winky's costume, I have like, lost all sense of order, I don't care where my Winky costume components end up, I'm just like, throwing them everywhere, and upstairs in the hallway, just like, bam, bam, bam! I should not have taken my beanie off. The Jutabug costume in itself, it, like, it wasn't a lot of fabric, but it was a lot of like accessories. I had the big stringy skirt, I had the bow tie, the ears, the, glo the long gloves, and the wings. So I'm putting the wings on, trying to do this weird thing to get the wings on without having to do too much, and putting my gloves on, making sure my ears are straight. I, okay, I rush on, I do the Jitterbug, and I rush back. And then I changed into my Wiki costume, not even like conscious of the actions I'm doing. I'm just going as fast as I can. And I run, <laughs> I run back to get onto stage and I have done it so quickly. I mean, I was, I was running so fastly. I had like one line before I was on. And just as I'm about to go on, I notice I am missing my right boot and my glove. <laughs> I am literally wearing half of my costume and I'm about to go on stage in front of like a hundred thousand like not a thousand but like 500 people kind of a nightmare so but luckily we were going in a straight line across the stage because like, you know, the winkies are marching you know so I go on and I'm very careful to make sure that I'm like keeping my feet in time so you don't see I'm missing half my boot but the other problem was I was one of the winkies that marked that goes around the stage to capture lion and, and scarecrow so I have to walk this way, which is the side where all of my stuff is missing. <laughs> so, you want to know what my solution for that was? To walk backwards. <laughs> I kid you not, there's this one random winky on stage, moonwalking across stage because I forgot my half of my costume. <laughs> okay, I'm so glad that wasn't the one they taped. Or was it? Okay, next show. The theater group is still CSP. The show is Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Which I, the movie just came out and that was like really, really good. Me and my theater troupe saw it together and it was really good. And I know they added like two songs, but they were good, they were okay songs. And 
the Josh Gad is an amazing LeFou. I kind of want him to be LeFou in the broad, if they do a Broadway revival of Beauty and the Beast. Because I think he was just really good as that character. Anyway. <laughs> but, the show is Beauty and the Beast. It's Tech Week. <laughs> and for those of you who are in theater, Tech Week is like this insane hormone fest of stress and like drama and like just rushing your mind out of everything and just like all compressed into like one rehearsal <laughs> so like pe friendships started friendships broke up relationships started relationships ended first kiss happened a lot of stuff happened in tech week <laughs> and like one of the girls cried in my dressing room like almost everyone cried in my dressing room this time i'm pretty sure i was the only one who didn't cry I wonder what that says about my personality but yeah after this insane stress of tech week <laughs> It's the first performance that we're gonna do of Beauty and the Beast. The, the song is Be Our Guest. Little background, I am a measuring spoon in Be Our Guest. So that basically meant I was wearing this gold sparkly jumpsuit with spoons attached to it with the gold top hat and this weird wing thing. For the first like three days of our host of Tech Week, no one knew what I was supposed to be. <laughs> That's how kind of ridiculous this costume was. It was still a cool costume. I still kind I still liked it. But it was still weird. But like also sparkles got like everywhere. So like if I just existed standing perfectly still in this one spot, sparkles would just like start falling off of me. <laughs> My friends were sparklier than I was by the end of the performances. But anyway, song is be our guest. I'm about to go on. They had altered the costume. Because so, so that way it fit me in the middle, but they forgot to alter the pants, so they were a bit longer, so they kind of dragged behind me. Anyway, so I'm about to walk on. We've practiced this number a hundred thousand times. I know exactly where I'm supposed to go. I know exactly when I'm supposed to go on. Because we're in a line thing, and for those of you who aren't in theater, the backstage is kind of like, people think backstages are kind of huge, you know? They get enough room for the props and stuff. No. It is basically a hallway, a very tiny, slim hallway, filled to the brim with props, people, people doing quick changes, people getting mic changes, people pulling the ropes. There is not even enough room to really breathe. <laughs> and plus, there's a bunch of these big, bulky costumes for people who are objects, and so it's even more cramped than usual. So, me and my friend Raquel, who we remember her from as well, she's like one of my best friends, we, me and her, are kind of, kind of, like, huddled together in the corner trying to make ourselves as small as possible in our kind of big costumes so that way we can get ready to go on well we're about to go on i start to walk i go to walk and my friend raquel who is like one second behind me bless her heart she steps on my pant leg all, while also stepping on the back of my character shoe <laughs> so she steps on it i'm still walking forward with purpose i'm ready to go and I just hear, zoop. It didn't make that sound. It was kind of like a ripping sound. Wait, I can make the sound again. Wait, did you get that? It sounded like that. I thought that maybe just the buckle had come off and that's why it felt weird that would be moving. So I just kind of walk it off and put more pressure on that side of the foot so I can keep going on with the number. So I do my I do my bit in that song and I rush off stage because I have to kind of run to the other side of the stage to get to for the end of the number. I have like two refrains of um, Lumiere's solo before I have to go, and I'm also kind of, you know, I take off my character shoe as soon as I get on ready to rebuckle it, and it wasn't the buckle that came off; it was the strap. <laughs> I was holding my one character shoe in two hands, so I'm kind of hopping back through the prop hall, rushing and being like, oh, my character shoe, oh, crap. And as I'm hopping to get to the side stage, I'm kind of run hopping, you know, and I just go. That was the sound I made. <laughs> and so I fall and I land on my butt and I, my ankle had twisted when I fell and I just kind of stared at the ceiling like, how could this play go any worse for me? <laughs> like. Don't prove me wrong, but just like, how worse can it get? <laughs> and my friend Austin, who was also running to the back of the stage with me, just kind of stops and looks at me like, Lizzie, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm regretting my entire life. <laughs> I'm regretting joining the show. I'm regretting joining CSB. I'm regretting picking this dang spoon outfit. <laughs> anyway, 
So I just stuck it up, I shove on the, what's left of my character's shoe, I stand up limping, I go finish that damn number, I walk off, and I run immediately to costume ink, like, oh, you fixed my character shoe. <laughs> and Raquel, of course, was so apologetic and so awesome, and she was so, I was like, it's not your fault, even though you kind of did step on my foot, but it's not your fault. The I was just happy that they were able to fix it because character shoes are freaking expensive. <laughs> like the character shoes I bought, which were kind of like the cheaper versions, were already 40 bucks and I was not prepared to tell my mom I need to get another pair <laughs> within one day. <laughs> but luckily the wonder wonderful people in costume were able to glue it and sew it back together for the rest of the performances and I am forever grateful for that to them. But anyway. That was all of the mistakes that I have made that were kind of outstanding. I mean, I made a lot of other mistakes, but they weren't as spectacular as those mistakes. Now, the thing I learned kind of from musical theater is that you can screw up, but you can't just say, you can't just stop the orchestra and be like, no, 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 stop, I messed up, let's start the scene over again. No, you kind of have to keep going. You have to kind of think on your feet about how you're going to fix it. And some of my favorite moments from performances I've seen and performances I have been in is when actors know that something is wrong but they don't dwell on it they just keep going and they ad-lib and they like make up for it or they say a line differently to kind of like make the scene still make sense and it's just so cool to see these people who have like no preparation they haven't rehearsed it and they just go with the mistake and they keep going they keep pushing through and it, sometimes it's even funnier than what was scripted <laughs> or how it was originally meant and it's just like to apply it to life <laughs> it's like it doesn't matter that something crappy happened to you or it doesn't matter that you made a mistake it just matters how you deal with it how you keep going forward with it and that's why i love live theater and why i love being in live theater besides the fact that it's really fun and all my friends do it <laughs> but anyway Thank you, nerds, so much for watching this video. If you liked it, there is a button right there, right down there, just for that purpose. And if you want to see more of my dumb face in your subscription box, click that subscribe button. But for right now, that is all for this video. Bye bye How I have screwed up so much in plays. I'm surprised they keep asking me back. Well, they don't really ask me back. I kind of go to them and say, "Hey, is there a musical happening? I'd like to be in that."